guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, make sure to subscribe for more K-pop audition tips like this. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys the reasons why Fantasio is the best company. On my last video, which was how to audition for Fantasio, which you want to check out if you are planning to audition there, I a lot of comments were like, yeah, we do want to see why like it's the best company and your reasons. So I have seven reasons right here and the last one is definitely the best, so you really want to stick around for that one. You're really missing out if you don't hear these because Fantasio has a lot of benefits that most companies do not. And let's just get started with this. So some artists under Fantasio include Hello Venus, Surprise, Astro, and Wiki Mickey. You guys may not know Surprise, but they're actually an actor idol group. If you see the members, I'm sure you'll be able to recognize them as actors, but not necessarily as idols. But they're they're the first actor idol group, so yeah. Just letting you guys know. I'm sure you've heard of the other few sure you've heard of Astro, Hello Venus, you might have heard of them, and then Wikimiki, which is a fairly new group, including like Yu Jong, Toyeon. The first one is a lot of the artists aren't as censored and they have a lot of freedom. If you guys see a lot of the reality shows or like the, I don't know, just the programs that the artists go on, you can really see that they know how to have fun and they aren't really like limited inside their company. So that means that they can go wherever they want to, they can take as many pictures as they like, like they all have their separate Instagram accounts even though they're not necessarily rookies but they're still a fairly new group so they have that kind of freedom. Usually I'm talking about Wikimiki when I'm talking about the groups just because they're the group that I know best within uh, Fantasio. And then for number two, there isn't as much as bias as you'd think there'd be. Even though Yu Jung and Toyeon has so much more fame compared to the other members, Fantasio still lets the other members shine. So let's just say Ellie. Ellie and Dazzle Dazzle, she was so like the center and you could really see that instead of the other uh, ex-IOI members. Like she had that blue hair, she got that center time, the chorus. So yeah, and then Lua, even though she's probably been the most mistreated member amongst all of the members, she still got to shine within like the new comebacks because of her short hair. She got more lines and I think that's a really good thing. I've been a little skeptical about saying this because you know, Astro, they do push out Anu more, but what I would like to say is even though they push out Anu more, they still push out the other members. It's not like they forgot about the group itself, they forgot about Astro and all their comebacks. They still come back pretty often, um, even though they aren't exactly like famous compared to like BTS, XO, NCT, they still come back quite frequently. And you know, they also push out the other members too. Like it's not like, oh, it's Unu and the other guys. And then the next one is if you are planning on auditioning for Idol and an actor, then this is the perfect company. Because Fantasio used to be an actor company, not necessarily like an Idol company. That's why there are only like four groups you probably know of. There, there are more obviously, but these are the more like well-known ones. They really welcome actor singers because like one of their groups is literally an actor singer group, an actor idol group. And they also allow a lot of their artists to act in like just shows, web dramas, movies, dramas, K dramas, things like that. Like I know Wikimiki had this like show before debut, so like pre debut drama, which. Actually, they only featured in the dramas. It was actually Astro's pre debut online web drama called To Be Continued, and it included Toyeon, Yujung, Lua, Lucy, and Ellie. Kind of reminds me of Luna now that I think about it, but Lockberry is definitely not the best company you can audition for. They don't even have auditions open. But yeah, since they started out as an acting entertainment, they're really open to acting too. So if you're like having trouble deciding if you want to do acting or if you want to be an idol, then this is definitely the place you should go to. And then number four is fan interactions are maintained through lives, posts, and things like that. Apps, whatever. They always do V lives. They always keep fans updated, which I think is really important because a lot of the companies don't allow their artists to go on V lives because they're scared that they might mess up and then the whole group's ruined, whatever. And then they also do a lot of fan signs, a lot of fan meetings too. Obviously, right now it would be like online fan meetings, but they still do a lot of that stuff, which I think is really great because. Like having fan inter interaction is so important when you're managing a group that also really determines your like popularity as a group because the more fan interactions you have, the more connected you are to your fans, the more they're going to like you and the more popular you're going to be essentially. And then the fifth one is facilities look very clean and well maintained. If you see their dance practice video, I'll pop up some pictures here. They look pretty clean, like 
compared to a really really small company even though Fantasio isn't necessarily like a really 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 small company they're a pretty small company and they still have really good like facilities if, yeah if you see their rooms they're all like really clean looking the background is nice they have a good mirror and even though they don't like change up their like background often I think that's a better thing because they have that specific place where they can practice even though it looks like it's the same background for both Mickey Mickey and Astro because obviously they can't afford so many like dance practice rooms compared to like SM which they like do renovations almost every year if you see their cool dance practice video it's actually a different one where this is like a wood background and I really like that like it looks very clean and very well maintained which is an important thing because a lot of the small companies don't have nice facilities they the practice rooms are so dirty and they sometimes have like rodents in them worst case scenario is what i've heard and then the next one is they're really creative yeah that's it they're really creative the way like wiki mickey was introduced like one by one similar to like luna okay guys new conspiracy theory Wiki Mickey is actually Luna. Where they had like individual pictures and then they kind of, you could say, subunits as like groups. They introduced the groups and then as one. So kind of like Luna, but in a much more faster process without all the songs. And I think that's a really creative way, even though there are so many groups that have been introduced like that. I think. It, it stands up definitely and then obviously the actor idol groups it's the first thing that's ever happened and i'm pretty sure it's the only group like that so yeah and then the very last one is what you've all been waiting for but first shall we watch an ad <laughs> no i'm just kidding i'm not sure if an ad will pop up but if it does don't skip it because you still want to watch it right <laughs> okay let's go they have one sex ed classes two book discussions three suicide prevention classes four healthy diet classes so definitely a lot of the things that other companies don't have not even the big three they don't have sex ed classes they don't have book discussions they don't have time for that but they really treat their idols as if they're human beings too like a lot of young people training they still need their education on these things that a lot of places might not have which i think is so great like where will you ever go to a company that has sex ed classes and book discussions, right? You can actually watch the clip from Produce 101. I, this is where I actually figured it out and got the motivation to film this video where they were talking about their company and how they're the best. Yeah, so exactly what I said, if you just read the subs, which I think is really great. Um, if you guys are interested in auditioning for them, please watch this video because that is just an audition tutorial about how to audition for Fantasio online. Obviously, if all of these tips didn't convince you and you, and you still want to try it for other companies, I have this entire series where you can have audition tutorials for a lot of the companies. So you can watch that. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe because you do not want to miss out on these amazing K-pop audition tips. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! You, you didn't leave yet? Oh, thanks. Um, you can comment down this emoji and I'll know you're a real one. Sh should I go or, or... No, you're gonna wait for the end screen? Does anyone actually watch the end screen? Bye. Bye. Boop, 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 boop. <sighs> Bye. Bye. Ah!